Nech pred pálom strachme A my pred písali Ari, jaké treba I nám na sobie Emo ni tafsiri kitaka hapa kwamba mavuno ni makubwa watenda kazi ni wachache tuombe Mungu atume watu wake na wewe usiwe kizuizi cha kuzuia kazi ya Bwana Sisonga mbele kwa sababu mahali fulani kuna nafsi na haja ya kuokolewa Shida nyingi sababu Mungu anajua kuna sehemu nafsi fulani ya kokolea. Kwa maana ulipata shida ulipokwenda tashisha mwanzo mwanzo na mwanzo e grande grande ya pedu prie prie le seigneur qui l'envoie ses hommes ne fait pas l'obstacle à le peuple qui salue car il y a quelque part qui n'a pas sauvé Ubiri Malika Vishuka Na kala moto mikonele mwaki Haka putisha kwenye midomo yako Eti haka ondoa zabu yako Obatizo wa moto Sababu kuna mahali nafsi Ambao inataka yokolewe Na mwaso mwaso Na mwaso e grande Ia pedu vie Vie le seigneur il envoie ses hommes, ne fait pas l'obstacle à l'évré du salut, car il y a quelque part, il n'a pas sauvé. La moisson, la moisson est grande, il y a peur d'ouvrier, prier le Seigneur, qu'il envoie ses hommes, ne fait pas l'obstacle à l'évré du salut. Il y a quelque part, il n'a pas sauvé. Ah, les la moisson, la moisson est grande, il y a peu d'ouvriers, il y a le Seigneur, il envoie ses hommes, ne faites pas l'obstacle, à l'œuvre du salut, car il y a quelque part, il n'a pas sauvé. La moisson, la moisson est grande, il y a peu d'ouvriers, il y a le Seigneur. Il envoie ses hommes, ne faites pas l'obstacle à l'œuvre du salut, car il y a quelque part, il n'a pas sauvé. La moisson, la moisson est grande, il y a peu d'ouvriers, priez le Seigneur. Il envoie ses hommes, ne faites pas l'obstacle à l'œuvre du salut. Car il y a quelque part, il n'a pas sauvé. Alléluia. Aïe, quand il y a ma cassongo, il y a un bon tour et du cigare. Aïe, 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 aïe
sio kizizi jili siende mbele. <laughs> na usikimbie kazi ya Bwana na wewe. Kama Bwana amekuita kufanya kazi yake usikimbie. <laughs> Ukikimbia utapata shida. Yeye alipata shida alipotaka kimbia kwenda tarishishi. Mungu anamwambia nenda ninawi yeye anataka kimbie tarishishi yeye alipata shida. Magumu matatizo mpaka wakamtupa kwenye maji. Ehe. Na wewe usikimbie. Kama Mungu ameweka kitu ndani yako usikimbie. Kama Mungu amekuita kwa ajili ya kazi usikimbie. Do it. Oh. Bye now. Dunia imeisha. Hebu nataka nataka tusome kidogo hapa. Tusome kidogo hapa katika kitabu cha Yona. Katika kitabu cha cha Yona tusikie hata neno kidogo hata kama sikupanga kuhubiri leo lakini angalau nasikia kitu fulani hebu tutoe kidogo kuna mtu anataka akimbie kazi ya Mungu hapo. <laughs> Sema amen. Kuna mtu anataka akimbie kazi ya Mungu. Kuna mtu anataka akimbie kazi ya Mungu. Kuna mtu anataka akimbie kazi ya Mungu. Usikimbie. Sikia hapa kitabu cha Yona sura ya kwanza. Mhm. Na mstari wa kwanza naanza. Basi neno la Bwana lilimjia Yona. Mm, mwana wa Amitai kusema ondoka uende ninawi nje ule mkubwa ukapiga kelele juu yake kwa maana uovu wao umepanda juu mbele zangu. Lakini Yona akaondoka akimbilie tarshishi apate kujiepusha na uso wa Bwana. Akatelemka hata Yafa akaona merikebu inayokwenda tarshishi basi akatoa nauli akapanda merikebuni akaenda pamoja na hao tarshishi ajiepushe na uso wa Bwana. Lakini Bwana alituma upepo mkuu baharini ikawa tufani kubwa baharini hata merikebu ikawa karibu na kuvunjika basi wale mabaharia wakaogopa kila mtu akamwomba Mungu wake nao wakatupa ba, wakatupa baharini shehena iliyokuwa merekebuni ili kupunguza uzito wake lakini Yona alikuwa ameshuka hata pande za ndani za merikebu akajilaza akapata usingizi basi nahodha akamwendea akamwambia una nini ewe ulalaye usingizi amka ukamwombe Mungu wako labda huyo atatukumbuka tusipote tusipotee wakasemezana kila mtu na mwenzake haya na tumpige kura mpate kujua mabaya haya yametupata kwa sababu ya nani basi wakapiga kura na hiyo kura ikamwangukia Yona hey. Ndipo wakamwambia tafadhali utuambie wewe ambaye mabaya haya yametupata kwa sababu yako kazi yako ni kazi gani nawe umetoka wapi inchi yako ni inchi ipi nawe u mtu wa kabila gani <laughs> akamwambia mimi ni mwebrania nami na mcha bwana Mungu wa mbinguni aliyeziumba bahari na inchi kavu ndipo watu wale wakaogopa mno wakamwambia ni jambo gani hili ulilolitenda kwa maana watu wale walijua ya kuwa amekimbia ajiepushe na uso wa Bwana kwa sababu alikuwa amewajulisha basi wakamwambia tukutende nini ili bahari itulie kwa maana bahari ilikuwa inazidi kuchafuka naye akawambia ni kamateni mnitupe baharini basi bahari itatulia kwa maana najua ya kuwa ni kwa ajili yangu tufani imewapata sema amen ndugu zangu <laughs> Kama Mungu amekuita kufanya kazi, usikimbie. 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 Kazi ni nyingi, mavuno ni mengi, watenda kazi ni wachache. Kilichopo sasa, huu ndo muda sasa wa kufanya kazi. Huu ndo muda sasa wa kuhubiri. Huu ndo muda sasa wa kusonga mbele sababu dunia inazidi kuharibika kila kukicha. Kila kukicha hali inakuwa mbaya. Tazama tu jinsi watu walivyo. Mapepo yale yale yaliyoacha dada yetu awa uchi katika shamba la Edeni ndio yameinuka leo yanaendelea kuacha watu uchi leo kwa jina la model watu wanaachwa uchi na mapepo kwa jina la model <laughs> kwa hiyo this now is the time to preach the gospel go everywhere around the world preach it speak to people that Jesus Christ love them tell them to give Jesus Christ their life don't fear the work of god Usikimbie wala usiogope. Let me tell you something. If really God has called you to do his job. Sawa. And you want to avoid it because of one reason and another. You will meet so many problems. Kumbuka yona hapa. Mungu amemuita kabisa. Anamwambia nenda ukalalamike katika kijiji cha Ninawi. Zambi zao zimekuwa nyingi. Zimekuwa nzito kiasi ya kwamba mimi Mungu nashindwa kuzivumilia. Kwa hiyo go there, go there. Nenda pale Yona. Ukawaambie waache dhambi zao. Go there, Yona, I send you. 
yona katetemeka akasema mimi ni mwebrania wale ni watu wa mataifa when they see me there going there and they preach to them this gospel Woo, that's in 40 days something wrong will happen when they hear that from me what will them say no 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 i will not go there kwa hiyo yona akakataa kwenda ambapo Mungu alimtuma and that was the beginning of everything so when alipoka alipokataa kwenda Ninawi akashuka zake akatafuta meli ya kwenda Tarshishi kumbe hajui kama ndo anaenda kuletea watu matatizo kwa hiyo you can bring problems to people just because of that I know mimi najua rafiki yangu mmoja ambaye Mungu alimuita kazini. Mungu alimuita kabisa kazini. Preach the gospel. Akakataa. Akasema ah ah mimi sitakubiri. Mungu anamwambia hubiri akakataa, hubiri akakataa. Huyo jamaa akatafuta nani hela zake aende Ulaya. Sasa sikia cha ajabu. Ilikuwa pale Tanzania pale. Wakati anaenda ili kwamba sasa apite kwenye sensa ya mwisho, waorodhithe jina lake na apakie kwenye ndege na a- aende Marekani the same day akaenda kwenye bafu kwenda kuoga yani ndege iko pale tayari anaenda kwenye bafu aoge na Mungu alikuwa anamwambia aje ahubiri njini huku Kongo yeye akawa nakataa alifariki pale pale kwenye bafu na akata anaandika nimefariki sababu nimekimbia kazi ya Bwana kwa hiyo don't try don't try to do it when god calls you to do something do it kama amekuita ubiri don't avoid ukijaribu kukwepa utaleta matatizo. And now ma, ayo matatizo hayata kupata mwenyewe, yatapata tena na watu wengine. Wewe si unaona hao waliosumbuka na upepo kwenye bahari? Je, wa, walikuwa ndugu zake na yona hao? Hao walikuwa yona peke yake. So you, you know that yona hakupata shida mwenyewe, yona alipata shida pamoja na watu walio kuwa naye. Sasa, yani yani hii this means if God calls you to preach the gospel and you refuse the problems can touch even your family the problems can touch even your wife the problems can touch even your children it can go even more than that do you see because when god calls you to do something you must do it if you don't do it hey hapo ndo mwanzo wa shida magumu na matatizo dunia imeisha huyo mwimbaji hapa amesema eti angalia hali ya dunia jinsi ilivyo watu wanakufa kila kitu dunia imeharibika watu wamekuwa wabaya zaidi ya GC hata mapepo yenyewe kuna mahali pengine nimesoma mtumishi mmoja wa Mungu anasema kwamba watu wamekuwa wabaya kuliko hata shetani mwenyewe yani mpaka shetani mwenyewe anaangalia anasema eh hey, lakini hao hata kama mimi ndio shetani hawa sasa ndo wamenipita kipimo <laughs> yani watu wanazidi kuwa wabaya kila kukicha kila kukicha now it's time to speak to people na out of that Jesus is about to come And it's a good time to go around the world to preach the gospel. Do all what you can to share this gospel. Yaani fanya chochote kile ukiwezacho. What what do you have? Use all what you can to share the gospel. Wakati mwingine nilipokuwa kigoma nikaambia watu hivi, jamani, use even this social media to preach the gospel. By the way, hata basi kwa wiki mbili toa hata semo ni moja kama wewe ni mhubiri. To speak to the world that Jesus Christ is about to come. In instead of staying quiet like this the time is over jesus can come at any time from now it's time for us to preach the gospel it's time for us to speak to the world that uh, their creator is here unajua kitu moja miongoni mwa vitu ambavyo vimeharibu dunia leo ni kwamba hakuna uhusiano tena kati ya mwanadamu na muumba wake na hicho ni kitu kibaya 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 ambacho kimeharibu dunia kabisa 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 Now stand up my dear brother. I just make this short video kukuambia stand up. Do what God called you for. Kama Mungu amekuita kwa ajili ya kusupport wa wa hudumu, support them. Move forward. Do something for the gospel to go forward. Kama Mungu amekuita kwa ajili ya kuhubiri, hubiri. Kama wewe ni mwinjilist, go everywhere. Preach the gospel. I mean the true gospel kama wewe ni nabii go everywhere preach the gospel time is over this is time to preach mimi nimetumia mwanya wangu huu i use my phone hata kama phone yangu sio <laughs> sio nzuri sana nilikuwa natumia ya mdogo wangu za mdogo wangu aishaondoka zake kwa hiyo saa hii image haitakuwa nzuri nzuri wakati mwingine ina maana hapo natumia ya kwangu ambayo ni ya viwango vya chini but i will use it that hata kama ni ya viwango vya chini i will do something with the same phone to preach the gospel to share it. Mm. Mungu amekuita kwa nini? 
What did God told me? Alikuita, alikwambia amekuita kwa nini? Kuhubiri? Hubiri. Na hata kama hauwezi hubiri. Patia basi wahubiri miguu waende mbali na karibu. Do what you can. Let the gospel be your main business. Sema amen. Because hapa ndo kuna lala kila kitu. Hapa ndo kuna lala uzima wetu. Hapa ndo kuna lala uzima wetu. Huu uzima wa duniani huu. Huu huu le monde vanité de vanité. Hamna kitu hapa. Hapa <laughs> bure, 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 bure. Leo afya njema kesho mgonjwa. Bure tu. Hakuna kitu hapa. Leo tajiri kesho maskini. Nothing. There is nothing here. The only thing we have to do is to preach this gospel. To speak to the world that Jesus Christ is about to come. His name is Jesus Christ. Our God. Your creator. Mm. The beginning and the end. His name is Alpha Omega. Hey. <laughs> he is about to come that man of Galilee. Karibu hivi anakuja kutua kanisa. So dunia unapuitazama. People are not aware of it. Watu anakatu. Like there is nothing. And Jesus is about to come. And he's telling us every day, I'm about to come. Lakini watu wanagatu. Wanagaza watu. Wala wajali. My God, my Lord, my Jesus. Sasa unavuta zama hii dunia. Unavuta zama watu jizi walivu. Wala wajali. Hish. Unasikia hamu ya kubi. Unasema no, no, no. Let me make this short video again. To speak to the world that Jesus Christ is about to come. Repent your sin. Repent your sin. Now I just make this short video once more to tell you my dear brother and my sister that uskimbie kazi ya Mungu utaleta shida utaleta matatizo if God called you to preach the gospel preach the gospel kama Mungu amekuita kwa ajili ya kusapoti wahubiri sapoti wahubiri kama wewe kazi yako ni kufiagia kanisani fiagia kanisani kama wewe kazi yako ni kuinterpret mme wako anapohubiri interpret mme wako Amen amen amen. Utabarikiwa sana kwa hilo. Sana sana kwa hilo. Kama wewe kazi yako ni ku ni ku ni ku ni kumwanga maji kanisani kabla watu wajaingia ibada ili kwamba ufanye usafi kanisani, fanya usafi kanisani. Kama wewe umeita kwa ajili ya kuimba, imba vizuri. Yaani unapofanya kazi ya Mungu, ifanye kwa moyo wako wote. Amen amen. Dunia imeisha. Eh hey ndio maana huyu mwimbaji amesema kwamba tuombe Mungu Mungu atume watu wake watu wake kazi ya Mungu unaitwa kazi ya Mungu haujibebi tu sababu unasikia hamu ya kuhubiri no no ni Mungu anakuita ufanye kazi yake sasa usifanye kazi ambayo Mungu hakukuita tena uifanye sababu ukifanya kazi ambayo Mungu hakukuitia uifanye tena unaleta matatizo tena unaongeza magumu tena unaongeza shida kwa hiyo lazima ufanye kile ambacho Mungu amekuita ukifanye. Na nani atakwambia Mungu amekuita ufanye hiki ni yeye mwenyewe. He is the only one who can tell you again kwamba wewe nimekuita kwa ajili ya hiki na hiki na hiki na hiki. And he is ready to tell you. Kwa hiyo take show, use this short time to tell God what do I have to do. Yaani lazima una kazi katika nyumba ya baba. Lazima do something. Na kama hauwezi wewe, kama hauwezi. Wahubiri wako ambao wana miguu. Support them. Let them move forward. Wacha wasonge mbele. Hiyo malipo yake ni makubwa sana. Sana tena sana. Sana tena sana. Asante sana ndugu zangu. Bwana wabariki. Say, tusikie tena huu wimbo mzuri. Hey, ya 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 ya. Tena me olebe empi. Mais le Seigneur te dit de prêcher sa parole qui lui a résisté pendant si longtemps mais il y a quelque part qui n'a m'a sauvé la moisson la moisson est grande il y a peu d'ouvriers il est le Seigneur qui l'envoie ses hommes ne faites pas l'obstacle à l'œuvre du salut Car il y a quelque part Il n'a pas sauvé La moisson La moisson est grande Il y a peu d'ouvriers Il y a le Seigneur Qui l'envoie ses hommes Ne faites pas l'obstacle A l'œuvre du salut Car il y a quelque part Il n'a pas sauvé 
Sasa ni mbe vizuri sana. Anasema ni faith pal of stack la livery ni sala. Sababu kuna watu wengine kazi yao ni kuzuia kazi ya bwana isisonge mbele. Ni faith pal of stack la livery ni sala. Ni faith pal of stack la livery ni sala. Hiyo ni kitu mbaya sana kuzuia kazi ya Mungu isisonge mbele. Hakuna kitu mbaya sana kama hiyo. Kwamba ya kelke bahari ina masoli. Kuna nafsi mahali na haja ya ukovu. Mm. Kuna nafsi mahali na haja ya ukovu. Na sio moja ni nyingi ma elfu ma mia. Kuna nafsi mahali zina haja ya ukovu. Kuna nafsi zinahangaika. Wewe umeshasikia injili mara pili. Umeshasikia injili mara tatu. Kuna wengine wajasikia injili hata mara moja. Kuna nafsi mahali na haja ya ukovu. Le monde entier c'est notre paroisse amesema huyo mwimbaji. Kwamba dunia mzima hii ndio mimbara yetu, ndio kanisa yetu. We have to go everywhere, kwenda kila mahali, kwenda tukihubiri. What have you done for the gospel of Jesus Christ? Umeshafanya nini? Okay, let me accept that you are not a preacher. But what have you already done to support the preachers for bringing this gospel to move forward? Hey, I mean this is true gospel. The good gospel, the gospel of Jesus Christ. Do your best. Do what you can. Fanya kilo wezacho for the gospel to move forward. Ita ongwaye preche a mimi me tu pri un bato fuyant vers ta chiche tu as eu des ennuis et mille difficultés car il y a quelque part il a m'a sauvé la moisson moisson la moisson est grande grande il a fait d'oublier Dieu le Seigneur il envoie ses hommes ne faites pas l'obstacle à l'épreuve du salut car il y a quelque part il a m'a sauvé La moisson, moisson, la moisson est grande. Il a fait nous prier, prier le Seigneur. Qu'il envoie ses hommes, ne faites pas l'obstacle à l'épreuve du salut. Car il y a quelque part, il n'a pas sauvé. Maïga, Maïga. What have you done for the gospel? Oh, we just came from Billy Baratas to do the mission. We just came from Billy Baratas to do the mission. We just came from Billy Baratas to do the mission. We just came from Billy Baratas to do the mission. We just came from Billy Baratas to do the mission. Kuna mateja kuna. Watu wamefariki na mateja madawa ya kuleta kila siku. Na injili ndo itawafikiaje? Eh. Hey. Usizuie kazi ya babisi ende mbele. Fungua milango kazi isonge. Eti angalia tu. Hali ya watu wengine monde. Angalia kisu tu hili jobai. On a dit que tu ne peux pas faire ce que tu as Le Seigneur, 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 le le Mungu abariki sana wahubiri wote. Yaani wewe wote yule anafanya kazi kwa ajili ya injili isonge mbele. Ai 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 ya mbele sana sana tena sana. Sana tena sana. Wote ambao wanatumia social media kwa ajili ya kuhubiri nasema Bwana wabariki sana. Na uongeleke sana kwa kazi na msonge ndani. Asante sana jamani asante. Unajua mimi napenda sana kuipa. Ujumbe huo 
Kama bwana amepita kazi hii kusi hacha kufanya kazi ya kiacha utapata mabadiliko. Kiacha utapata shida. Asante ni jamani bwana wabariki sana. Bwana wabariki sana na shukuru sana. Sikiwa sana mpaka wa kumbili leo. Lakini wimbo huu umenishitua kidogo. Mm. Nikaona nije niambie wahubiri wenzangu. Let's go. Let's preach the gospel. Dunia inakufa, dunia inaisha. Watu wanafariki kila kukichi. Wengi wako katika dhambi. Wengi wako katika matatizo. And here we are. We must go and preach the gospel. Na kama wewe si wahubira utaweza, basi waweteshi wahubiri ili wasonge mbele. Dunia inakufa. Yesu anataka kuja. Chukua kanisa. Muda mchache tu ndio anakuja kuchukua kanisa. Umefanya nini kwa ajili ya injili? Nataka kukuja Yesu akupute na madola mabilioni kwenye benki yako account na injili imekosa kwenda kwa sababu ya hizo dola zako bilioni ambazo ziko kwenye benki account bora hatu ndiziweke katika injili zikafanye kazi ya Bwana ili kwamba watu waokoke kwa hiyo ukituma senti moja tu kwa mtumishi wa Mungu na akahubiri kwa hiyo moja na nafsi ikaokoke ni kubwa kuliko mabilioni ambayo Bwana kija anayakuta katika benki asante ni jamani nashukuru sana na nimetumia pia mwani mwenye huu kwa kwa kuwaletea moja miongoni mwa waimbaji ambao ninawapenda sana. Um, huyu anitiwa Clema Kasongo. He is one of my favorite gospel singer. Yaani nampenda sana. Sasa kibaya ni kwamba waimbaji wangu wengi ambao ninawapenda wote wako katika Kifaransa. Kwa Kiswahili huko, hey, haki ni kuna wengine nawapendaga sana kwa Kiswahili kama um, nani huyo? Mchungaji Abiudi. Hey, anaimba vizuri bwana. Hey. E, Fanuel Sedikia yes anaimba vizuri anaimba vizuri nilikuaga napenda ni mwingine nani yule zamani sana yule Charles Jangalason hey he is a good singer that man he is singing very well the gospel mm anakucheza kwake kule kuzuri kuzuri kule <laughs> Azanteni azanteni bwana wabariki bwana wabariki sana 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 asante